Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've been looking forward to sharing this with you for so long, it feels amazing to finally say this. I've just released my own mixing and mastering plugin, Reviver. It improves the impact and clarity of your music by combining several adaptive and intelligent processes. This makes it easy to get professional sounding mixes and masters, even when working at modern and competitive loudness levels. For the next two weeks, I'm running a special launch promotion. You can find out all the details about that in the description box or visiting the website here. Now, I could honestly talk about Reviver for hours, how it works, what it does, but the best way to do this is to just get in the mix, hear some sound examples, and I'll talk you through what this plugin does. When you load Reviver on your mix bus or any track, it distinguishes between transient, short-term peaks, and sustained material. This means that it processes only what needs adjusted, getting right to the source of the problem while maintaining the integrity of your sounds. There are three main modules, each featuring a host of dynamic and harmonic processing. These reinforce the power and impact of the low end, enhance the depth and presence of the mid-range, and improve the clarity and definition of the highs. I'll explain some other features as we go, but of course we have oversampling, input and output gain staging, and even light and dark modes to suit your studio style or needs. Let's hear this on some mixes and tracks, starting with something fresh. Within each module, there's a button to engage the harmonic enhancement circuits. These are three different topologies that work with the dynamics processing to further enhance the warmth of the low end, the presence of the mid band, and the air and clarity in the high band. When lit up, these engage even at 0% processing to bring life to the sound. Although each circuit's different, they all induce even harmonics to ensure that the tone remains rich and pleasant. this processing is adaptive, meaning that the style changes fluidly as you push it up or down, and it adapts to suit any style or genre of music. Let's switch over to the light mode and hear this on some more tracks. We'll start with Reviver Bypass and take a listen. I'll load a preset as a starting point for the processing, and then we'll dial it in and make it perfect for the track. The low module is really giving that kick and bass a better relationship in the mix and you can hear both of them clearly. And the high module is helping those snares and hi-hats really cut through the mix and find their own place. That's sounding great, but let's listen to this on something a lot more heavy and dense. Let's hear the difference and then I'm going to dial the processing until I think it's just right. Even in this dense mix, Reviver is able to carve out some clarity and bring more impact and snap to those snares and hi-hats, especially with that high module. Now let's take a listen to Reviver on a drum bus and some individual tracks. We'll start with those drums soloed and then in the context of the mix. So 
that's sounding really punchy now, but I'm going to engage some of the harmonic processing and blend this in the context of the whole mix. While I've dialed this in myself, you could just grab one of the drum presets with a little bit of the processing already engaged. So let's listen to this in the context of the mix. I'll link the controls and we can dial in the processing. <laughs> Let's also hear this with some of the vocals. I'm just going to turn down the makeup gain. Let's try something completely different and load it up on some acoustic guitar. It's not necessarily a sound you want to add impact to, but I'll show you what Reviver can do to improve the sound. So there's loads of overlapping layers, and we're going to hear how Reviver's adaptive processing can distinguish between these transient and sustained layers to improve the overall tone. Let's start with this more rhythmic section. It sounds quite dull and lifeless, so I'm going to grab a preset, try to improve the clarity and detail here. That definitely sounds so much better. I'm just going to link the controls and pull back the processing a little bit, and then we'll add in this lead. that with Reviver engaged, each part of the arrangement has more space, the stereo imaging is improved, and the transients can be heard with more definition. So I'd recommend loading an instance of Reviver on any track that you feel needs more tone, life, or impact. I might make a full video about how the plugin was made if that interests anyone, but in short, I had the idea for this plugin last year and managed to bring it to life with the help of an incredibly talented team of developers and designers at Black Salt Audio. They're an independent plugin company who were happy to take on a project as ambitious as Reviver while still giving me the control I needed. I've been approached by many companies before to make a plugin, but I didn't want to just be given a plugin and put my name on it. I wanted to be involved in the whole process. So from the initial ideas through to the processing, the user interface, all of the testing, they just surrounded me with this team with the skills to bring my idea and my vision to life. It's been a long and detailed process, but in the end, Reviver actually exceeded my expectations, and it feels amazing to bring you this one-of-a-kind tool with no compromises. I really couldn't be more happy with how it turned out. So I hope you enjoy using Reviver as much as I do. When you do use it, share it with me or tag me on social media, because I want to see, but more importantly hear, how you're all using Reviver out in the world. Once again, I'm running a special launch promotion just for the next two weeks, and all the details for that and how to get Reviver are in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video, which will be an updated mastering guide for 2023. Thank you again, and thanks for all the support on Reviver. Bye for now. <laughs>